the road to McFadden goes up 8 Mile Creek. Now this road is a little bit interesting because it's a little bit boggy in the springtime. We had a lot of rain in June and as you can see in the video, there's a lot of mud holes. Um, 8 Mile Creek also runs through the road and there's mountain springs that also road, run into the road as well. Um, this creates all these bogs in the road. Kind of fun to go through in the ATVs in the springtime though. Um, but in years past when this road was an old mining road, uh, to overcome the, the obstacle of the bogs in the road, um, the pioneer used an old time solution and it was called a corduroy road. Basically, this was a road that was built of logs laid parallel to each other um, through the bog and then they could travel over the logs instead of in the boggy mud holes. Um, but you can still see remnants of these corduroy, uh, what they call a corduroy road um, throughout our video if you are actually looking. There's several places you can see them.
welcome to the little ghost town of McFadden. The little town of McFadden, like many other Idaho mining camps, was situated in a narrow mountain valley with a mountain stream running down the center. McFadden popped up in 1880 as a gold and silver mining camp. Following plaster deposits up 8 Mile Creek, a load deposit was located on the west bank and it became the McFadden Mine. This mine was owned by Colonel James McFadden. Even though it was in a remote location, the town had a post office from 1900 through 1901. Its one and only postmaster was a woman with the last name of McFadden. It was a one street town with a small number of businesses and cabins on both sides. There was also a small water powered mill just downstream of town.
this is how our day ended. Uh, ended up with a flat tire, had a pretty good gash in the sidewall. So unfortunately, the slime and tire plugs I carry didn't do much good. At least I had my 12-volt compressor. We'd pump up the tire, race down the hill a little bit, pump it up again, race down the hill, and just kept doing that over and over again until we got back down to uh, Jordan Creek Road, which is a, a bigger road, and then caught a ride uh, with my father-in-law and his side-by-side -side and went down and picked up my truck and trailer and then uh, trailered it back. Unfortunately, I got back to camp and uh, my grandson pulls up and says, uh, sorry, we got a problem. Turned out uh, my other grandson was on our little green ATV and lost the transmission. So then uh, after I got my uh, the orange one dropped off with the flat tire, we went and uh, picked up the little green one and brought it back to camp. But great adventure. Come and join us again. Please like and share and maybe even hit notifications because I got lots of new videos coming.